Hi, my name is Nhi Ebernheim. Today, I'm going to show you how you can attend a video conferencing using the platform called Zoom. When you get an email invitation from your host, it typically has a meeting ID, and for security reason, it might have a password as well so that other people don't jump into your private meeting to watch or listen in. In the event that we have bad reception for videos, the email also has a backup telephone number for the participants to call in, again, just for backup. After you select the link, enter the meeting ID and password, you will then be put in a waiting room. When the time comes, your host is going to invite all the participants to enter the meeting room. Once you are able to see yourself on the computer monitor, at the bottom left of your screen, there is a mute feature so that other people don't hear your background noise and possibly having children crying or the dog barking. Please mute yourself and only unmute it when it's your time to talk. I am going to show you the, my computer screen. Here is the feature you have at the bottom of your computer monitor. The mute feature and what stop video. If you select stop video, all the participants won't be able to see you. All they would see would be your name listed on your computer screen. Also at the bottom of this screenshot, there is a share screen option. In the event you have certain documentation you would want to share with the other guests in the meeting, you can select share screen and the screenshot you would like to show the host and the participants. If you would like to have a private conversation with your host, you can select this chat feature. Once you select the chat feature, there will be a narrow screen that pops up onto your right side. When you see that, select the drop down and your host name, and you can type a private message with your host. I am going to bring you back to my regular meeting. Let's say that you would like to see all the other guests in the meeting at the top right of your computer screen. There is a gallery view or speaker view. Please select gallery view most of the time. Otherwise, you only see the speaker if you select the speaker view. If your host would like to have a private meeting with different parties, the host has an option to split guests into different rooms. It's called breakout rooms. Let's say I split one group into breakout room one and another group into breakout room two. As a host, I can have a private meeting by joining break room one and have a conversation. Once I'm done, I can virtually move over to breakout room two to have another private conversation with the second group. It's once I want to bring everybody back as the host, I can do that and bring everyone back to the main session. These are the key features on what you need to know when you attend the Zoom video conferencing.